Well, guys, today we're going to take a look at a brand new tool. This is the Kronos from Multipick. It's an electric pick gun. Very nice. I'm going to tell you right up front, I'm very impressed with the performance and the quality of this thing. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I got this from Multipick. This is made in Germany. And Multipick, of course, is in Bonn, Germany, their headquarters. I got it for $196 plus, I think it was 10 euros, shipping and handling. I wanted to test out their new shipping policy. I got this from Germany. It took five days. Not bad at all. Uh, this is also, if you're in the States, you can get it from Lockpick Shop shop it's uh, 249 plus free shipping and handling and if you're in australia or down in new zealand close in that area you can get it from pick pals it's 184 dollars plus shipping and handling so i gotta tell you it's well i think well worth the money i hate to give this away i don't often say that but i'm going to give this one away and then i'm probably going to buy one of my own that's how impressed i am with it all right enough of that let's talk about what you get first of all you get the pick itself we'll take a close look at it in a minute it is rechargeable, and you get an 18650 lithium-ion rechargeable battery. This thing holds a lot of energy. If you're into model cars or vaping or anything like that, you know how much energy one of these cells holds. Um, slides right in the back, and just screw the cap right on. Very. It has a um, an O-ring on the back of it. I don't know if I'd want to actually submerge this or not, but I guess you probably could and it would be waterproof at least the battery would um you get a selection of replacement tips i've already got one installed and in fact you're going to need the allen wrench to go along with it and that's how it's held in there now take a look at that machining i mean that is just beautiful and for this kind of money i think i think it ought to be um i have tightened this down using the allen screw and i got to tell you this is never once loosened up after a whole week of use. Once you torque this down, it stays torqued down. Uh, um, you get these O-rings that look like they're machined into it. They do protrude a little bit and it's perfect. It's exactly where all your fingers would be. So you can push the activation button right there. And the only other controls right here. And that limits the amount of swing on the head vertically. I'll mash it. So if you have headphones, now would be a an excellent time to remove them and three two one here we go notice how you got vertical swing and you can adjust it by turning the screw so if you have a very tall keyway you can loosen this up and ideally you want this to swing this, the same height as the keyway you're working in i've got to tell you this is so powerful that if you fail to do that it will either cause the lock in your hand to vibrate or the pick itself will, will move around. It's very, very powerful mechanism. Um, you get a couple of tension wrenches here. We're going to probably get a chance to play with those when I demonstrate this on a number of different locks. And, of course, you get a recharger for your rechargeable battery. And it goes plugs right in, USB, so it plugs right into your computer. It takes about three hours to charge it up, but you get more than an hour of constant use out of that 18650 battery. Um, a great system, very powerful. I've said that about nine times, but it's so much more powerful even than uh, electric lock picks that I've used that plug into the wall or have external battery packs, very large ones. So that 18650 really puts out a lot of energy and for a long time. So let me go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and grab a bunch of locks and let's see just how well this thing works. All right, you know we have to set the benchmark with the obligatory master lock. This is a brand new lock. There's what your pin looks like. I chose this because that last one is really cut high, and then we got some low cut ones here. So it could this is about as much challenge as you're going to get from a four pin master lock. I'm going to say this once on this first lock, and I won't repeat it for the other ones. When you use an electro pick, you want to use the long end of your tensioner and slide it in there, and then make sure it doesn't bind on the bottom. And then when you tension it, place your finger kind of on the outside to put pressure like that because the vibration and the kickback on this tool and pretty much any other uh, electro pick gun will cause this to vibrate out very, very quickly. But if you put your finger on the outside, you can usually prevent that. Again, when you slide the tip of the pick in, slide it all the way in and then back it out just a little bit to keep the tip of the pick gun out of the actuator in the back of the lock. Keep it perpendicular both on this axis and on that axis. Don't cockeye it off one side or the other or you end up bending the tip. All right, let's see 
how long this will take. I'm going to slide it all the way in, back it out a little bit, light tension, and that's about as long as it takes to get into a master lock. But that's not all. There are a lot of other locks we're going to go through. Hold on, let me grab one. All right, guys, let's try this one. This is a Brinks. It's a five pinner. Here's what your bidding looks like, V-shaped. So chances are you'd overset those ones in the middle. This also contains some spool pins, so it might take a little longer, but I found that this Kronos does get into it pretty easily. All right, faster than picking anyway. All right, all the way in. Pull it out to get it past the actuator. Light tension. Bam. Nothing to it. All right, let's see what else we can open up. How about a... How about a Master 570? We know this does contain security pins. There's what your pinning looks like, so wide variation. It does work beautifully. It's not been opened. Let's try it. Slide that dude. Let's, let me even find a smaller tension wrench to give the blade on the pick a little more swing. All right, so slide it in. Back it out a little bit. Light tension. And open. <laughs> That's faster than the key. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, I do have another. This is a Master 140. Again, only four pins. Let's try it. Oops, the long end, Bill, the long end. Light it in, light tension. Too easy. What else we got here? All right, it is time for something just a little more challenging. This is a brand new ABUS 6450 Titanium, completely intact. Um, these do have security pins. They're great training locks, as you guys know. There's what our bidding looks like. So we got good bidding, and we have four out of five of these pins are security pins. So it does have a spring-loaded core, which makes this a little bit more of a challenge than any of the others we've faced. So I'm going to try to slide this in. I, th I think that'll probably work. We'll know soon enough. All right, I'll apply moderate tension because you have to overcome the spring tension on the core. So slide it in, back it out over the actuator, and give it a shot. And it started turning, but I believe it is open. But uh, that tension wrench is doing exactly what we don't want it to do. So I'm going to put this guy in there, and there we go. Got an open. All right, let's see what else we got laying around here. All right, the last one I got is this little, it's a six pinner. It's the only six pin padlock I've got handy. There's what your bidding looks like. Does work. All right, let's see what we got here. Wide open, wide open keyway on this guy. That one will definitely not get bound up. All right, slide this dude in there. Extract it, light tension. And for a six pinner, <laughs> that was pretty quick. Anyway, enough of the padlocks. Let's take a look at a couple of uh, door locks and see how it works on those. All right, this is a Schlage keyway. There's what the bidding looks like. It's a five pinner. Let's see what we got here. Sometimes these can be a challenge just to tension. That ought to work. All right, slide this dude in there. Light tension. <laughs> How easy is that? That is no challenge at all. All right, I got one more door lock. Let me get it clamped up and try it out. All right, this last one is a Zoo. They call it the Mark V. I got it from one of the UK websites. This is what it looks like. So quite a challenging bidding for bumping or for electro picking. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing to co cooperate. Light tension. Slide that in there. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> There we go, five pins, Zoo Mark V. Nothing to it, guys. Anyway, I think uh, in looking at this pile, I probably convinced you that this uh, tool is very master key-like. It will not open disc detainers. It will not open dimple locks or anything like that. Some of the high security locks that we've worked with before, like some of the asses with the side pins, the Primus. Um, uh, let's see, what else are we talking about here? Um, medicos, you're not going to have any luck with those. But for anything else, even with security pins, this, I think, is a tool of choice. I hate to give this away. I don't often say that about tools that I review, but this is definitely one I'm going to have to buy for myself. In the meantime, if you'd like to win this, you guys know what to do. All you got to do is, let me move all these picked locks out of the way. Go to that website, 
register the big purple button and next Saturday I'll have a drawing for this almost brand new one week's worth of my use on it trying it out uh, multi pick chronos it costs a little bit more but in my view quality is worth a little bit more thanks for your time guys stay safe stay legal mm -hmm.